Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tagovailoa was recently named team captain by his teammates and head coach Mike McDaniel. He also received the most votes for the honor. Shockingly, despite being the starting quarterback of the team last season, this is Tagovailoa's first time being named team captain. This might be due to the fact that Tagovailoa did not deliver a good enough speech to be named team captain under former head coach Brian Flores. Last season, Flores reportedly made players vocally petition to be named team captain. Offensive lineman Jesse Davis, wide receiver Mac Hollins, linebacker Alandon Roberts, and defensive backs Jason McCourty and Clayton Figellum were last season's team captains. Only Roberts is still a member of the team. Before Flores firing, there was reportedly a rift growing between Tagovailoa and Flores. It was reported that Flores wanted to pick Los Angeles Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert over Tagovailoa during the 2020 NFL Draft. Flores also had a propensity for benching Tagovailoa during games in certain situations. Tagovailoa was even in trade rumors for former Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson before he was traded to the Cleveland Browns. Besides Tagovailoa, the Dolphins team captains include Roberts, wide receiver Tyreek Hill, offensive lineman Taron Armstead, defensive lineman Christian Wilkins, and defensive backs Xavier Howard and Jevon Holland. Last season, Tagovailoa led the Dolphins to a 9-8 record and threw for 2,653 passing yards, 16 passing touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. With a head coach in tow who believes in him and new weapons around him, Tagovailoa is in line for a major breakout season. Tyreek Hill's net worth in 2022 is $40 million. Hill is a professional football player who currently plays for the Miami Dolphins. He is an all-rookie team member, six-time pro bowler, four-time all-pro selection and a Super Bowl champion. For this piece, let's take a closer look at Tyreek Hill's net worth in 2022. Tyreek Hill's net worth in 2022, estimate $40 million, Tyreek Hill was born in Douglas, Georgia. He studied in Pearson Elementary before enrolling at Coffee High School, where he played for the school's track and field team. He is the school's record holder for the 60 and 200 meter dashes, tallying 6.64 and 20.57 seconds, respectively. After high school, Hill went to Garden City Community College, representing the school in track and football. While playing for the Bronkbusters, Hill ran for 659 yards and five touchdowns also catching 32 passes for 532 yards in his sophomore season. After a stellar stint with the Bronkbusters, it wasn't be long before he earned the attention of several major universities. Hill transferred to Oklahoma State after two seasons. Hill registered 1,811 all-purpose yards and six touchdowns in his debut with the Cowboys, but was dismissed from the team after just one season due to domestic violence allegations. After his dismissal from OSU, Hill attended University of West Alabama. In 11 games, Hill accumulated 1,403 all-purpose yards and 8 touchdowns, while Hill showcased his potential in the college ranks, getting drafted into the NFL was a difficult ordeal. With a domestic abuse record that ousted him from OSU, Hill wasn't able to earn an NFL draft combine invite. Nevertheless, Hill still managed to gain attention after attending Pro Day at West Alabama. Hill was selected in the fifth round of the 2016 NFL Draft, the number 165 overall pick by the Kansas City Chiefs. Hill became the first player from West Alabama since 1974 to get drafted into the NFL. In May 2016, Hill signed a four-year contract, $2.6 million contract with the Chiefs. Hill made an immediate impact in Kansas City, tallying 61 catches for 593 yards and six touchdowns as a rookie, collecting various distinctions for his efforts. He was named to the all-rookie team the Pro Bowl, also earning first-team All-Pro honors as a returner. Hill hardly slowed down after an electric rookie season. However, 2019 would be his the most notable season in a Chiefs uniform. In April 2019, Hill was suspended from the team while under investigation for child abuse. Hill would eventually be cleared of wrongdoing. Later that year, Kansas City showed its support for Hill, signing him to a three-year, $54 million contract extension. He later played an instrumental role in the Chiefs' comeback victory over the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 54, finishing with nine catches for 105 yards.
he'll continue to be a force to be reckoned with the next two seasons. A year after the Chiefs won their first Super Bowl since 1963, he'll help them get back to the Super Bowl. However, the offense struggled behind an offensive line full of backups, with Kansas City falling 31-9 to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In the 31-9 loss, Hill produced seven receptions for 73 yards. The Chiefs shocked the NFL world in March, trading Hill to the Miami Dolphins in exchange for several draft picks. Hill then signed a lucrative four-year contract extension with the Dolphins that amounted to $120 million, with $72.2 million guaranteed, making him one of the, the highest-paid wide receivers in the NFL. Due to his popularity on the field, Hill also has earned various endorsement deals from brands like Adidas and Grip Boost Incorporated, which manufactures innovative football gloves and gel. Aside from being an endorser of Grip Boost Incorporated, Hill also took a stake in the company in 2020. Were you at all stunned by Tyreek Hill's net worth in 2022?